As well as being an expert on money matters, did you know that Witch also has a team of experts in various aspects of UK law? The Witch Legal Advice Service gives its members access to this team, allowing them to get advice on a range of legal matters that impact consumers' everyday lives. And right now, you can join the Witch Legal Advice Service and save 30% off the usual annual price. So whether it's a rental dispute, a last minute holiday cancellation, or legal employment advice, which can give you personalized one-to-one -one advice in a simple, convenient, and affordable manner. Don't struggle in silence or suffer the stress of wading through endless streams of online information from unreliable sources. Join online and book your appointment to speak to one of our experts to get the advice and guidance you need tailored to you. Plus, right now, you can join and get legal support from Witch for a whole year for just £69.30, a saving of 30%. Just go to witch.co.uk forward slash legal advice to find out more or click the link in the podcast show notes. This offer ends on the 31st of August, so don't miss out. Hello and welcome to the Witch Money Shorts podcast. I'm Lucia Ariano, host of the Witch Money podcast, here to bring you a taste of some of the best money advice straight from the Witch Money magazine. In this episode, we'll be looking at self-invested personal pensions and how they might be just what you need to take charge of your savings. This article was originally written by Paul Davies. Your pension is likely to be your biggest single investment. Around £3 trillion is held in UK pensions, nearly £70,000 per adult. Most is overseen by pension scheme trustees and investment managers. But what if you could take control of your own pot? Almost 1 million savers per year are choosing self-invested personal pensions or SIPs. They've been around since the 1990s, but they only took off in the past decade or so. The latest data from the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, shows that new sales of SIPs have risen from 740,418 in 2020 to 895,137 in 2022. In February and March 2024, we surveyed 2,301 SIP customers. These are some of our which recommended providers or WRPs based on customer satisfaction and for keeping charges to a minimum. Vanguard is top of the pile with a customer score of 82% and it's a WRP for SIPs for the fifth consecutive year. Vanguard only entered the SIP market in 2020. It maintains low charges of 0.15% capped at £375. However, it only offers Vanguard's own funds. Interactive Investor is a WRP for the third consecutive year. It now has a pensions essential plan for pots worth less than £50,000, costing £5.99 a month. When your fund exceeds £50,000, you move on to the pension builder plan, which is £12.99 a month. AJ Bell got a high customer score and impressive star ratings. Costs are competitive at 0.25% on the first £250,000 of funds, 0.1% on the next £250,000 and no charge on more than £500,000. Buying or selling shares costs £5 per trade. Each fund transaction costs £1.50. Fidelity is now a WRP for the fourth year in a row. Fees start relatively high with 0.35% applied to the first 250,000 held in your pension. However, this falls to 0.2% across all your invested funds if you have more than 250,000 in your account. Free Trade is a WRP for the first time. It charges 9.99 per month if you pay for the whole year in one go under its plus plan. So 119 pounds 88 in total or pay monthly for 11.99 per month. Buying and selling shares and exchange traded funds is fee free. However, you can't invest in mutual funds. SIPs are similar to other personal or workplace defined contribution pensions when it comes to what you can pay in, how and when you can withdraw money and the pension tax relief you can qualify for. The big attraction is that you can choose your own investments. You can consolidate all your pensions into a SIP or have it working alongside your workplace schemes. Contributions and investment performance will determine the final value of your pot at retirement. The government also chips in via pension tax relief or PTR. 
For every 80p basic rate taxpayers add to their pension, it pays an extra 20p. If your tax rate is higher than 20%, you can claim extra tax relief. PTR applies to annual contributions up to your salary of £60,000, whichever is higher. When you reach pension freedom's age, currently 55, you can take up to 25% of your pot as a tax-free lump sum from your SIP. Then choosing pension drawdown will mean the money stays invested and you can make withdrawals to live on as you wish. Or you can arrange an annuity, giving you a guaranteed income for life. Or take the savings as cash, in one go or in chunks. Most SIP providers offer drawdown, usually with similar fees. This could save you the hassle of transferring your pension, although check the fees you'll pay are reasonable. If you're buying an annuity, shop around for the best rate. We've concentrated predominantly on the DIY SIPs offered by investment platforms such as Interactive Investor, AJ Bell and Hargreaves Lansdowne. These enable you to pick funds and sometimes also shares and investment trusts, typically with the lowest fees. They can be more fairly compared on a like-for-like -like basis and so are the only SIPs for which firms can be named which recommended providers. The DIY approach isn't suitable for everyone. You'll need to be confident picking your own investments, albeit with the help of advice guides and in some cases lists of recommended funds and funds that hold other funds. You won't have a professional to protect you from scams that could drain your pension savings. Do It For Me or Ready Made SIPs occupy the middle ground in terms of proactive management and charges. Providers will choose and manage an investment mix for your pension from a range of ready-made portfolios based on an online questionnaire about your attitude to risk and investment goals. Like Pension Bees products labelled a personal pension rather than a SIP, consolidates your pot and allows you to invest in one of its seven funds. Nutmeg has four portfolios or plans which use exchange-traded funds to diversify your portfolio across stocks, bonds and commodities. Finally, there are the full or complex SIPs offered by the likes of Denton's Pension Management and Rowan Moore. These are more akin to a portfolio which you can pick with the help of a financial advisor. You'll get their expertise, which can help with more complex investments such as property and commodities. However, these have higher fees. So what makes a good SIP? A SIP that meets your needs will probably combine low fees and excellent customer service. You might also want a wider range of investments than a workplace or personal pension will offer to maximise the growth potential of your money and be able to adjust the level of risk during your career. When choosing our WRPs, we compared core SIP charges, both fixed and platform fees, and calculated costs based on seven different pot sizes. Companies with core charges among the most expensive quartile for any pot were excluded from being a WRP. Our calculations highlight how high charges will soon eat into your savings. A SIP with a starting amount of £250,000 is worth £18,000 more after 10 years if held with the cheapest provider rather than the most expensive. After five more years of charges and compound growth, the difference is more than 31,000. We assumed investment growth is 3% a year. The main charge is a fixed admin fee or a platform fee calculated as a percentage of the funds you have invested. Companies apply percentage platform charges in two ways, either across the whole pot depending on the pension value or reduce fees on amounts above certain thresholds. For example, AJ Bell has a rate of 0.25% on the first £250,000 of funds, which falls to 0.1% on the next £250,000. Companies that earn WRP status have to be competitive on charges. Wealthify, for instance, achieves a creditable customer score of 75%, but its high annual management fee of 0.6% irrespective of pot size prevents it from being a WRP. There are extra costs to consider as well. Buying and selling investments within your SIP will sometimes carry a per transaction fee, depending on what you're trading. Providers will often allow you to trade funds fee-free or at a low cost, for example £1.50, while you'll usually pay between £6 and £12 per transaction for investment funds, shares and exchange-traded funds. If you plan to buy and sell investments frequently, it's worth picking a provider with low or no transaction fees.
Investments in your SIP, such as funds, exchange traded funds, and investment trusts, also charge fees. Add these to core platform charges to give overall costs. One way to reduce costs is to pick cheaper funds and trusts with exposure to the same markets as your current investments. Passively managed funds that track a market index are on average cheaper than actively managed funds, as the latter involves employing the services of a fund manager. Even more of us may sign up for a SIP in the future. A proposal from the government for a lifetime provider would see us having just one pension scheme that we choose at the start of our career. A single pension pot makes sense for the self-employed who receive income from many different sources. But employees who are usually signed up to a pension scheme when they start a job can end up with many pensions. The average person will have around 11 different jobs over their lifetime, according to the Association of British Insurers. Keeping track of all our pensions can therefore be tricky. The Pension Policy Institute estimates that 2.8 million pension pots are lost in the UK, worth £26.6 billion in total. The lifetime provider idea proposes that employees choose their preferred pension scheme and then their current employer, as well as any future employers, pay into one retirement fund. This would make it easier to see how much you have saved for retirement in total and make sure that small pots didn't go astray. With low costs, ease of use and big advertising budgets, SIP providers are in pole position to offer pots for life for those willing to manage their own pensions. Thank you to Paul Davies for that original article, first published in Which Money Magazine's July edition. If you want to subscribe and get the magazine delivered directly to your door, click the link in the description of today's show. For more expert money advice, subscribe to our free newsletter and tune in to our weekly money podcast with new episodes that drop every Friday. This episode was produced and edited by Romana Yassin. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time. Want to stay ahead of fraudsters and across the latest scams? At which we helped prevent an estimated £1.8 million in scam losses last year thanks to our Scam Alert newsletter. And each week we provide more information on the latest scam activity, helping protect you, your family and your friends. Stay in the know and avoid falling victim to scammers by joining over 450,000 people already signed up to our free Witch Scam Alerts. To join them, head to witch.co.uk slash scam alert and sign up today.